So let's take a look at how you can add that personal touch to your presentations if you are working asynchronously uh, delivering content. I'm gonna go into Keynote and here I've got an old presentation that I used to deliver. And what I wanna do is add the personal approach to actually me being in the video, but this is gonna be presented asynchronously. So obviously if I was presenting this via a web video, I could just turn my camera on and you'd be able to see me. But if I'm presenting asynchronously, how do I add in that personal touch? Now there's a couple of ways to do this. They both involve similar setups, but they have slightly different outcomes. So it depends on which approach you really want to use. Now the first approach is probably the quickest way to do it, but it does have a slight impact on the screen size that you're gonna be sharing for the students. Um, but let's have a look at that one first. So on my device, I'm just going to slide up from the bottom to reveal the dock and I've got Keynote here, um, which I'm actually going to take and drag up and then add it alongside. And I'm already in the mode I wanted to be in. What I've done, I'll go all the way back to start, is I've started a new presentation. I'm not doing anything on the presentation here. What I'm actually gonna do is tap on the plus and go to camera. And that's gonna open the camera on my device. And if I flip it around, then I'm on view. So this is the simplest way to do it. Now I'm already screen recording, but what you would do is you would tap on screen record, make sure that you've got the microphone tapped, turned on, and simply I talk through my presentation. So in this instance, I'm just gonna say, hi, welcome to this presentation on how to present information. These are our session outcomes for the session. We are going to be identifying the key learning elements, yada, yada, yada. I'm just gonna talk through all of those objectives and then I can just work through that presentation. Now I can even put this in full mode as well. So, you know, it's still gonna work with my animations, etc. So you can work through that whole presentation as you would with the students talking over slide after slide after slide. So that's one way of doing it. Now, what you end up with there is this video of me on one side, students on the other. You are taking up a lot of the screen, so you might not want that in your videos. So an alternative approach to that is to do the same method, but what we're gonna do is actually edit that video. So if I come out for a second and go to my photos. So I'm gonna open up that video that I've just created. And at this point, I don't necessarily want any of this on the left. I just want the video of me on the right. So I'm gonna tap on edit. And then I get the option over here to crop and rotate. So I'm gonna choose that. And I'm actually just gonna drag the boxes to just kind of focus on the element of the video that I want. And you can you know, crop out any of the background that you might not want in that, etc. Uh, there we go. Always seems to end up on a, on a slightly gormless version of yourself when you do this um, as a still image. So that's now just going to crop that video and just save just the video element that I want. I don't need all of the, the other elements. And I'm going to place this then back into Keynote and have a look at a different way of creating this Keynote. Okay, so now that's saved, I've got that as a video that I can now use in my Keynote. Now this is a new feature in Keynote, so if you haven't seen this before, what this enables me to do is add that video on top of the slide. But the new feature is that that video will now play continuously across every slide without me having to do anything. So all I need to do is copy and paste. And it doesn't start from the start, it starts from the last point of the video where you change it over. I'll just add it to a few of the slides that I mumbled through. There we go. And then the process here is, um, I would just screen record this. So I'm already doing the screen recording. I've already recorded my presentation. So all I need to do is just sync the two together. So if I now go into start presentation, so as soon as I'm ready, I can just simply tap the screen. And I'm aware that the audio is not coming through, but I didn't want to talk over myself. But when I'm ready to move on to the next slide, I simply just tap the screen and that video will continue to play all the way through. So I now have that complete autonomy to move that session on as I need to. And all I'm doing throughout this is screen recording the whole process so the video comes up to the students. 
because I'm in full screen mode, I still have complete access to the whole keynote and I haven't had to do any editing at all on this video to make sure that that video plays at the right point throughout. I just simply tap the screen as I need to move to the next part. So there we go, two ways of adding that personal touch into any presentations that you're doing. Really important, I think, going forward as we move asynchronous to make sure that those students still have that facial connection to the person who's presenting. Um, and that's for students of all ages, whether they be in higher education and, and not have that kind of daily connect, but also with our younger learners and the ones that really need that kind of daily facial recognition connection to their educators.